Hi guys, it's Varun from STEMI back with another Math and Maniacs lesson and today we're going to be talking about the golden ratio. So what is a ratio? A ratio is the relationship between two numbers and just like a fraction it shows how many times that second number can fit inside the first. So let's say we have eight oranges and six lemons and we wanted to find the ratio of lemons to oranges then we would just say the ratio of lemons to oranges is eight to six. So what do you think a golden ratio is? So if you said the golden ratio is the relationship between two different numbers, then you're absolutely right. But what exactly is the golden ratio comparing? So let's say we have a line segment and we divide this line segment so that into, into line segments A and B. And we divide it so that a to B is equal to the ratio of the whole line to A. And if we do this, we get phi or 1.618, which is the golden ratio. And again, the golden ratio is represented by this Greek letter called phi. And I'll show you this cool little interactive right here, which I'll link down in the description below so you can play with it after the video. And you can see here's line segment A and here's line segment B, and that's the ratio of A to B and that's the ratio of A plus B to A. And you'll see that as I move the slider around, these ratios are not equal, but only at one point will they be equal. And when they are equal, it's equal to 1.618, right there. And I encourage you to do this and see how, um, try and get the two ratios to be equal. So back to the slideshow. So the golden ratio has certain properties. One of the properties is that it's irrational, meaning like pi, it has an infinite number of digits and it can't be represented by a fraction. And it has two properties that are unique to just phi itself. And this one of these properties is that phi squared is equal to phi plus one. And, and also that the other property that's unique to just phi is that one over phi or the reciprocal of phi is equal to phi minus one. And I encourage you to try this out with other numbers and see if, if other numbers work in the situation. For example, in this first property right here, we can see whether, um, let's say we plug in four instead of phi and we square it and we subtract one and we get 16 minus one, which is equal to 15. And you can see that's not equal to four. But when we plug in phi instead, it's phi squared minus one is equal to phi itself. So another property that the golden ratio has is that it can be expressed as a continuous fraction. And you might be wondering what a continuous fraction is, and this is a continuous fraction. So if we compute this, we actually get the golden ratio. And the further we go down this fraction, the more and more accurate representation of phi we get. Another representation of the golden ratio is this. And again, the further you go, the more accurate re representation of phi you get. And here are 21 digits of phi. And I would like you to punch this into your calculator and see how far you can get and how accurate of a value of phi you can get. So why should you care about the golden ratio? And that's a very good question. So you can actually see golden ratio everywhere around you because artists and architects believe that the golden ratio makes the most pleasing and beautiful shapes. For example, the golden rectangle, which has um, which is ratios of the width to the length of the um, rectangle is phi itself. And this apparently makes the most pleasing or beautiful shape for a rectangle. And the philosophers found the, this ratio of the width and the length of the, this rectangle to be appealing. And you can see this in ancient architecture and ancient art too. So activity one, golden ratio around me. And for this one, you'll need a calculator, a ruler, and maybe a parent or sibling to help you. So I would like you to measure um, your elbow, the distance from your elbow to your wrist. And then also measure the distance from the, your bottom of your wrist to the tip of your fingers. And divide these two lengths and see what number you get. You should get around 1.618, which is phi itself. And also, if you take the length of the bottom of your hand to the bottom of your fingers, and take um, the length of the bottom of your fingers to the tip of your fingers and divide those two numbers. And that ratio should equal the golden ratio. So the golden spiral, what is the golden spiral? So the golden spiral is formed by using the golden rectangle. So here is a golden rectangle 
which means the ratio of the length of this rectangle to the width is equal to phi, and we cut out another golden rectangle from this big rectangle. And we keep cutting out golden rectangles, and then we use a curved line to connect the vertices. And you see that the spiral forms, which is called the golden sp spiral. So what's important about the spiral? So just like how the golden ratio is found everywhere, this golden spiral is also found everywhere too. So again, the golden ratio is found in ancient architecture and the human anatomy. And it's also, the golden spiral is found in art, as you can see in the Mona Lisa and this Twitter bird right here. And the golden spiral is found in nature everywhere. So you can see the plants budding and the seashell, they're all in the shape of the golden spiral. And it's actually impressive. The golden spiral is found on massive scales as well. You can see it in hurricanes and even in our own galaxy. And even our president's hair is also in the shape of this golden spiral. So I encourage you to go and do this project right here. So this project, for this project, I want you to go outside, take a ruler, take a tape measure, and measure things. So measure your furniture, measure your TV, your phone screens, and use the calculator and divide these and try to see where you can find the golden ratio around you. And make a list of where you can find the golden ratio. And um, maybe type that list in the comments below and leave that list down there. And also, if you would like to make a video about where you see the golden ratio or things that you found interesting about it, you can make a video of that and send it to us and we'll look at it. So thanks for listening, guys. And um, be tuned and stay here for the additional Mathemaniacs lessons. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below and we'll answer them. Thank you.